how to very simply edit the scanned cine film in iMovie. So this is the follow-up to my video on how to scan and digitise a vintage cine film using a reflector scanner. I'm going to show how to very easily edit the saved MP4 from the scanner and improve how the finished film looks using iMovie. There are far more tweaks that can be made than I will use here and there is much more comprehensive video editing software available, but these few simple steps in iMovie will give some excellent results. This is how a scanned film looks when it's first digitised. I have not used the scanner to adjust the sharpness or the exposure and I have not zoomed in to just capture the frame as I think it's better to make those adjustments in iMovie. With the clip loaded into iMovie I first crop the clip to the frame of the film and this leaves a black bar on either side of the frame but as 8mm was in this ratio it looks more authentic than cropping to a widescreen. The film also needs to be slowed down because Cinefilm was shot at 18 frames a second and the default in iMovie is 24 frames a second so slowing down to about 65% gives a more natural appearance. Adjustments to the clip are more effective if done in very small segments so I run the clip and I edit a cut at the same point that the filmmaker cut whilst it was being shot. Starting and stopping filming in some of these vintage cine cameras resulted in a little shake and wobble in the film so it's very easy to just trim these little bits out in iMovie. So here is a, a very short few second scene. You can make adjustments to the brightness, contrast, colour but more often than not the automatic function works really well. Also with it being a very small segment you can stabilise shaky video. I then export this film in the best quality that I can. The stabilisation process has caused these small little wobbles on the edge of the film, so again using the cropping function these can be removed. This then is the finished result achieved with just a very few simple steps and adjustments in iMovie and it's ready to be exported and in my case I will add a few titles and watermarks and then it's ready to upload to YouTube.